maybe even my wall back here. But let's start with the setup. And uh, I'm getting stuff, getting working in the streams here, but this is what I'm working on. I've got a dual monitor setup. This is kind of meta, the way you're seeing it. And I use OBS to stream, and that streams to three places, Twitch, um, uh, YouTube, and Twitter, or X. And I want to try to get Telegram and Facebook, but we'll get, we'll get there. That's it eventually. Two monitors, and it's actually, these things are pretty amazing. These like stands. This one is the main rig stand that holds this light, like roll up thing here right above my head. And I just, just controlled with a, uh, a light. Maybe eventually I'll get some ambient light, but like the ones that have like red and blue in the back wall. The kind of camera I'm using here is a Sony A7C. Went by recommendation. I don't really know much about cameras, but it is what it is. Here is the Shure SM7B is like the same podcast mic that most everyone uses. I think it was around $300. I started using this like little like book reading light so I could click it on to just get other no light on my face. Uh, I don't know what they call it, like a key light or a whatever. I don't know. Rembrandt lighting. I use the mic goes into the soundboard. This is the Rodecaster. This is like the verse, first version. And this is how I play like the music. So like any sound effects, which I don't really do that often, but I'd like to do more of it. And then um, all of this is connected through this little hub back here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this is kind of weird. It's making me dizzy. I've got two hard drives down here, down at the bottom. Oh, there's the hard drive right there. And then um, here's like, these are like all adjustable, movable arms. And you can see it adjusting the uh, camera <laughs> all the way around. And then uh, you'll probably wonder what this extra power strip goes to. It goes all the way up here. That's another custom uh, computer. And I guess it's pretty good. So I'm going to be moving towards this computer in the future. I've got a couple pebbles for speakers. I don't really like in-ears. I don't like any of that. I don't even like the mic and the shots. And then, of course, we have uh, the drawing for the iPad and all the games and all that stuff. Keyboard, and I don't use a mouse, I use a trackpad, because my little my little fingies. And then, uh, you know, some, some chargers, USB-C, and my phone charger. Now, if you go back to the back wall, you see kind of what's going on back here. This is like a competition I won in college, sports entertainment marketing, kind of runs in the family. My wife and me, this is a signed, Anderson Silva UFC glove is the official thing that doesn't look like Anderson Silva's signature But that's what it is. That's what that's what someone gave it to me some of my really good friends from work uh, And here's like her diploma. This is her diploma. It's not mine um, Some some Jesus stuff the Bitcoin standard always got it on lock here is another This is like an Australian cowboy hat and a Kubra. This one was from uh, some friends. I met online Wi-Fi, got to represent the Philippines. This is a bolo tie for whenever I want to just fancy right there as a cowboy. I'm a pretend cowboy. If this is your first stream, I'm not real. This is, this is not, you know, I'm scared of, I'm scared of horses. I say it all the time. This is something that uh, they got me for Father's Day. And so, yeah, this is kind of, and this was my first toy that I ever got. It's like really old. It's just a bear on a surfboard flying an Italian flag. <laughs> it's like, what is that? These are my first two businesses. This was the first one. It was a failed, it was a marketing business. And this one I would consider a success. It's called Speedy Marketers, a lead generation business. Anyway, I got a whole bunch of junk right here. Some pictures, you know, VR headset, uh, you know, bags and all that stuff. Anyway, thought that was somewhat entertaining for you. I am in Florida, so this is like beautiful weather right now, but we're getting ready to do a live stream. So I'm excited for it. Thanks for showing up to the live stream, really appreciate it. And uh, let's get started here in just a few seconds. People are running. People are scared. They're hiding. 
They're moving. There's blood right now in a bull run. They're just scared. They don't want to face the fact that Bitcoin's actually on the rise. They just see the short term, everything's on a downturn. Then they read all the articles. They see everyone looking, it's all red. Every bubble's red. Every, every percentage, every 24-hour percentage is red. But we're here and we're buying. It's time. Guys, this is not something to be scared of. We know that Bitcoin's on the up and up right now. We know that the halving's coming along. I honestly think, I don't know what's happening in the market. Could it be, uh, you know, some kind of market influence? Could it be BlackRock? Could it just be people getting scared? People taking too many, uh, take too many profits? Maybe liquidating, like it gets to a certain level and just psh, psh, keeps on dropping. It's a cascading waterfall. Who knows? But red means go in the crypto, crypto world. Red means go. Red means go ahead and buy. And it's time to buy. That's why I was kind of hesitant on the last few weeks. I was like, no live buys, no live buys. That's what we've been talking about. I don't really want to buy when it's super high. Now, I remember last time when uh, it was down this far. It was down to like 63, maybe even 60. It was, it was touching down to 60. And the greed index was down in the, in the 70s this time around. We've been hitting 90s and, you know, we should probably sell when it's 90. But now it's dropping down. And we could probably make a case that if we buy now, it'll probably go back up. and Or maybe it drops back down a little bit, but it'll, it'll come back up again. That's at least how I see it. I, I, I don't know. This says a lot to our personalities, at least mine. Uh, we did, I did a personality test a while ago. And there were four categories. And I could highlight two of those for you. There's uh, people who are let's go and people who are let's be careful. There's also another type of person that's let's, be, let's, uh, let's go together. Um, and uh, let's, I think it's less weight. It's called the grip assessment. Either one, those don't matter in this case. Let's go. Let's be careful. And I am a let's be careful guy. Me. I am a let's be careful guy. I like to take things nice and slow, methodical, strategize, really take time and plan. There are other people, much bigger cowboys than I out there. Let's go. Now, there are times to let's be careful, but I think this is the time to let's go. Strike while the iron's hot, red hot, red hot. And so that's what I'm talking about. Everyone in the chats right now, thanks for coming. Dopest, good to see you. Thank you for uh, saying something. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm on a little earlier than normal because my kids have to go to bed a little earlier than normal today. They got school tomorrow. But needless to say, uh, we are early, also early to the games. Sorry, the games. The gains. What's going on, Frenchie? How are you, bro? So, yeah, I want to be looking at, and I, I'm probably going to definitely buy in. I told everyone, I told you guys last night, I, I sold and I was selling yesterday when I thought it was a little high. Started selling and here we go. And then my TA, undefeated, undisputed. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's just... I mean, I don't know. I keep it simple. If things are kind of green all for a long time and chopping, you know, sideways and I see like a big wick up, if it's a 20% increase, I'm selling. Sounds good. I'm selling. And I did. I sold into Seoul. So Seoul still took a little bit of a drop. Let's take a little bit. I sold into Seoul and it took a 5% uh, or 20, yeah, 5% drop in the last 24 hours. But not like the other bags, like Whiff took a 25% drop and um, I'm not sure how much Bonk fell. I think Bonk is on here. Uh, so it was a good call. And Flocky took a 10% drop. So it was a good call. I still made out on top of it, technically, unless I don't buy in now. But I think I'm going to buy in with a percentage in now. And that's just what I'm going to do. You let me know if I'm doing right. Uh, do you agree with this move? Do you, uh, do you agree? I'm, I'm doing everything live. Here's Dog with Hat at 9% drop in the last day. Could it drop some more? Here's some resistance right here. Um, this was only seven days ago. Let's see here. In a month, it could drop down to 160. Could it drop down to 160? Yeah, I mean, I mean, maybe. Probably best to try to buy something. It is early today. Mike, sorry. Um, my kids are going to sleep a little earlier, so I'm able to get on a little earlier. Uh, but yeah, they, they got... 
I got to put those kitties to bed. This I was probably about 15, not 30 minutes earlier. I'm usually on at about 8.45 is usually their bedtime. But we're finding that's a little too late. And when the kids get get to go into bed, that's when I'm able to hop on. So that's I wanted to get on a little earlier uh, just for the sleep, just for just to chill out. Because I think I get like, I, I don't, I'm not as sharp. I'm not as, uh, you know, energized or you know, entertaining, I guess, for you guys later, like if it's like 11 o'clock. Remember when I used to stream at 11 o'clock? I was like, yeah, there's <laughs> a little bit of a trial there, but I just loved it so much. So um, if it's a win-win all the way around, that's what I like to do. But for right now, um, I'm I'm thinking of, I'm really at easing into buying um, a whiskey night. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to have some whiskey later tonight. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Um, so I'm looking around and I'm seeing whiff at a, a drawdown of 10%. No, or is that 7% now? I thought it was 10%. Oh yeah, 9%. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's it's adjusting. Uh greed down to 71. Do I think, do you think? What do you guys think? Give me a one if it's a good idea to buy now. Give me a two if it's not a good idea. Now we could have opinions and then we could actually do something, right? So just for the opinion. Uh, if you guys would with me, just, oh, and if you haven't already, hit the like button. I'm going to hit the like button on my own account. <laughs> so uh, that's just one of those things. Like, uh, can we really test ourselves in how we think about this stuff? Um, three, yeah, of course, of course, Mike Thomas. Yeah, thank you, thank you for, <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I think that it's a good day to start contemplating buying. This drawdown can always go down even further. And if I bought now, I would be at a small rate. Um, and I'm going to buy the memes because the memes rebound the, the best. They rebound so strong, dude, I swear. I don't know what it is, but they just rebound so strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it, dude. Send it. Hmm. I just think that Whiff is such a strong competitor right now. Feels good. Whiff, Whiff just looks good. Dude, can you imagine buying in Whiff here in January? Dog Whiff hat at 15 cents. Good googly moogly. I like to, we like to torture ourselves with these types of, uh, <laughs> these types of uh, hypotheticals. But I just think that, I think that this is good. MF is still a good buy. I haven't even checked that. I, I, I walked away from MF. -er. I walked away from these guys. 20% down. God. I, I don't know. It's, I've kind of, I'm solidifying on a, um, a thought here with these meme coins. And I'm thinking for the meme coins, it's, hard, it's so hard because there's so many options out there for like the thousand X. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that like, let's just take base, right? Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do this. We're going to go to holders. We're going to go um, this guy. So we're going to take this address. I want to take number four and we're going to whale watch a little bit. We're going to base. This is for MF, right? Uh, Zerion. So this is probably a good way to hold on, let's see here. track this stuff here. I just pulled this number four off of the number four holder off of MFR. Here's MFR coin, right? He holds a $1 million in MFR. And, oh man, he dropped down. Can you imagine losing $200,000 in your portfolio? I'm curious about see what, what he's going to do here. When did he buy? I wish it would, uh, let's see here. He bought... Wow. He bought a week ago? About a week ago. When was the price here? I wish it would tell me. Price up to 25 cents. This guy bought at... Uh, I can't... I, I mean, like, that's 12, 12 million. I don't know how much that is. I guess I could check the, um, the transaction here. Hmm, how do I check this thing? Let's check the hash rate. Nothing's telling me anything, any information. Uh, I don't really, I don't really care. So too much. I could check the hash rate, but whatever. 
Here, here's my, okay, I understand. I guess I could go to Etherscan or whatever. Can I go to Etherscan with this? Oh, base scan, I guess. Oops. Let's take a look what this guy's doing. Hash rate. Can I just see it? Yeah, I can still see it. All right, let's see here. Transaction fee, 11 cents, value. I wish this showed the value, dude. I got to do like math and stuff, <laughs> you know? Like I got to do some serious math. All right, so he bought this many. Wait, hold on. How many MF are coins? How do I figure this out? Okay, so uh, from this token, I don't know what token that is. That's MF for token. That's MF for token. That's the wallet. No, this is the wallet. Contract address. ERC tokens transferred. How am I doing this here, guys? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I wish it just showed you the price. I got to do some crazy math right now. I don't want to do this math. Let's just take a, an assumption. Um, he never sold. Let's see. What am I at here? He bought here at some crazy low amount. Oh, well, maybe I could check by the date. March 29. Okay, this is so much easier. Oh, yeah, here we go. Now we're cooking with oil. March 29. Okay, great. It's not on CoinMarketCap. No. <laughs> so he bought this at CoinMarketCap March 29. Uh, I guess uh, Dex, Dex Screener. All right. Yeah. Base, now we're gonna go, uh, where's the search? MFR. Now I need to pick the right, <laughs> dude, this is like impossible. Uh, which one's the right one? I don't think that's the right one. Why is that red? I thought it was blue. Is this the right one? Good, googly moogly guys. Um, it's on base. MF is on base, dopest. All right, so this is some real DGENY stuff, guys. I'm so sorry. Maybe this is not entertaining, but I'm trying to figure this out here live. All right, so we're going to look at MF -er. at the time of buy was, where's the time of buy here? Four days ago, March 29, 5 p.m. UTC. I don't know what that is. EST here. Okay, so, and then on... Doge in me, baseball and crypto. First of all, baseball and crypto. That's a new name. That's a new uh, thing here. Good to see you. He bought before oh, March 29. Wow. He bought it. Okay. Okay. So it must be. Okay. 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 So it's at least 20 cents here. He bought it at 20 cents. No, that's not true. That can't be true. Okay. We need to find where this thing is. So Dex tools. Let's go Dex tools. Dex screener might be just Dex screener is overwhelming to me. Okay, so let's go here. Muffer. Ah, oh, here we go. Ah, found the first. Found you. I found you, new Miss Booty. Get it together. Bring it back to me. Okay, what? This is not the right coin. Oh yeah, March twenty nine. Okay, got you. I I got you, new Miss Booty. All right. So he bought. MF -er at 11 cents. Is that right? That can't be right. It's at 24 cents. Why isn't that registering? You guys see what I'm seeing? Oh, uh, okay. Hold on. Maybe I need to go full screen. I can't see anything without like this par partial screen here. Uh, okay, let's see. There we go. Okay. All right. You were one of my favorite guests on ATV. Oh, thanks, bro. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm one of the uh, the uh, the least TA guests on ATV. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I got a lot of heat. I got a lot of heat. Okay, so if is this right? Am I reading this right, guys? Is there someone smarter than me who knows how to do this? I'm going to go through and find MF or coin. 
When you, what episode did you see me on? Maybe it was version two? Does it matter? It's the same contract. 54CA, 54CA. You guys see this? That's the same contract number. What am I missing here? Version three, version two. I'm missing something. Either way, there's good, we got probably go with hourly, maybe maybe smaller. Okay, okay, here we go. This is the 25th, all right? So they bought on the 29th, rather, 29th at... What time did they buy? 5 p.m. What time is 5 p.m.? 12, 17 hours. So they bought like right here. They must have bought right here. We'll give them a little bit even before that. So this is 16 cents. Nick, duh, duh, dummy is a lame anyway. <laughs> no, lizard brain. Uh, Am I catching this right? Am I doing this correctly? Because this is not making sense to me. How can... Maybe there's... Okay. Zarion is saying this guy bought mf -er here. And I checked the hashtag. Here's the hashtag. This guy bought mf -er coin at 507 UTC. Okay. That's the problem. 507 UTC is not 507 EST. 5 UTC to EST. What time is that? 1 a.m. Wednesday Eastern Standard Time. What? Okay. 1 a.m. That's a change of pace. So he bought here. He bought right at the beginning. He had... Oh, this was airdrop to him. Holy Toledo. This coin was airdrop to him. This was, he was the, he, this, hold on, hold on. This has got to be, I mean, he was the fourth one. He was the fourth uh, 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 wallet on the largest holding. And so this, and this is the only holding that they have, this wallet. Hold on. So what I am looking to understand is, okay, let's see, March 29. The, this is this wallet was the only reason why this wallet was created for M MF or coin right here. Um, yeah, yeah, pre sale grouper 64. It can either go up or down, either go down, <laughs> can't go wrong with TAX. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, we're, we're on we're detective, we're detective hats right now, not cowboy hats, detective. So, this guy got a IDO or ICO, is what happened pre sale. So did this guy um, pink sale? Does anyone? I mean, how do I figure that out? I don't even know. Uh, so that's a pre-sale initial or initial coin offering. He got this coin. Maybe or maybe he created it. Who knows how he got this coin? That's it. That's it. And then, well, let's take a look at his his history here. He's only getting Momo, only getting BMFer. He hasn't sold any of these. Any NFTs? Why does it only show these two? I don't understand. Why does it only show those two coins? Zarian must not have that updated. I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Um, let's see here. So MFR at 11 cents. Either way, however much he bought in, this wallet's worth $1.5 million. And you can see his... Oh, wait a minute. You could see the history of this drop. Look at this drop. This is crazy. Shoom. From a dollar. I don't know what coin he's looking at here. To down to here, 32 cents. Let's go to here. Yeah. So I don't know how what I'm reading. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I'm a lizard brain. Someone please help me. A meme coin for every mf -er. Let's see. I got the Toby airdrop in my Coinbase wallet. What's the Toby airdrop? How'd you get that? Oh, Cowboys. What's going on, GF? Grouper64, you're new, by the way. So I want to say what's up to you. Thanks for thanks for commenting and stuff. Your hot takes were fire. LOL, I watched that be up. 
<laughs> I just saw that. Thanks, bro. I was just, you know what? I came on uh, ATV with just the mindset of a uh, of a WWE wrestler. <laughs> I was there to compete, and I frankly I didn't care what people thought of me. <laughs> that was a good. That was the good old days. Then they then they went earlier with their show, and I just can't make that. And it's um. And I don't know who any of those other guys are. I don't know who those guys are. I'm not that they should know who I am. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, you late. <laughs> What's going on, old guy? How are you guys? Uh, I'm, we're good, man. We're good. I, I could be better with uh, with a whiskey. It was just too early. My kids were going to sleep. Whatever. Um, okay. So here's what I'm driving here. I guess I was... I just, I just went down like a rabbit hole. Essentially... My point was that there are so many coins that go out and then there are people who just buy in. I guess the, the, what we're learning is they're just buying into these pre-sales, okay? They're buying into these pre-sales. They get airdropped this massive amount of coins and I don't know how what his strategy is. Like, I don't know the pre-sale strategy. Do you buy into a whole bunch? Do you buy into... And I tried my hand at pre-sales and I, I, for the life of me, I can't get it to work, you know? <laughs> like, there's, I can't... I don't have enough money to go into all these things. Maybe I should section out like a hundred dollars per pre-sale coin maybe buying on here is not the is not the way but buying on pre-sale is the way you know what i'm saying like i guess there's different entry points you can't get any earlier than a pre-sale but so then the only place i would know the pre-sale is pink sale um gf is always up in the middle of the night man dz runs a show now i bet he'd have you back on anytime they've had me back on or they've, they've reached out to me and um i've had to turn them down because it's too early uh, it's at four o'clock and I work till about four o'clock. And so I can't get there on time. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I, it's, it's not because of like the Bitboy crypto stuff. I, I don't even care. <laughs> you know, like who cares about that stuff? Um, and it's harder. It's a lot more funner with more people involved. So I could just kind of harass and make fun of more people. I'll, I'll try to make some room though. I mean, I'll, that'd be awesome. DZ runs the show now. I bet he'd have you back on it. I've been watching the last week or so. Good stuff. Keep it up. Oh, thanks, Grouper. I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate it. Did you get bomb any mic? Did you sell bomb? Did we sell? It was up. Did you sell? I sold. Did you sell GF? Please tell me you sold. It's down now. Frenchie, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I should make a compilation of ATB uh, talks. And use it as one of my, uh, uh, what's that called? Um, uh, what's it called now? Five minute counter. That'd be funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I, I mean, like I told them every time, I'm, I'm not a crypto expert, not a TA expert or whatever. So do you guys think that any of these can really like win? I wish there was a someone who showed wins from a launch pad like consistently picked good ones and how do you do that like i want to know see no one makes these types of videos i swear like no one makes these videos like how do you buy into these things youtube like how to be successful at pink sale like how to be successful at pink sale and pre-sales pre-sale pink sale no that's how to sell how to have a successful pre-sale but not how to pick a successful pink sale. Oh, I got into it with this guy, Money Ninjas. I knew I knew this guy's getting paid, and he's a, <laughs> and I called him out, and he and he had a, some words back to me. So whatever, I don't care. Um, how do you pick? Sl See, all these guys are paid, all of them, every single one of them, guys. So don't like. It's okay, in my opinion, it's okay that they get paid, but you have to know, right? Like you have to know. How to avoid a pink sale scam. I guess that'd be something worthwhile to, to look at. It's like, who gets successful in pre-sales, pre pink sales? That's something that I tried to pink sale file, finance launch, how much I made. Okay, this would be interesting. I want to, do you guys want to watch a video with me? Hello, Toad God Toby. Uh, I, I'd probably want to check out just at least like um, a few minutes of this. Baseball and crypto. Who gave you Toby airdrop? Yeah, yeah. Mew, what's that? You had some good rants for sure. You should clip them and make some shorts. Yeah, I got a couple of shorts. I'm in back out. Aiming up though. Yeah. 
rug pullers get the profit. Yeah. So you okay? So let me just let me just try this. You guys hear that? My name is Colin, and in this video, I will give you my experience with the Pinksil Finance Launchpad IDO platform. I participated in IDO. I'm going to I will show you how much money to make. Before we get started, quick disclaimer: nothing in this video is financial advice. It's for entertainment yeah, yeah, purposes yeah, yeah, only. Yeah. So we are on Pinksil right now. Pinksil is basically a full function platform uh, in the crypto Yeah, business. yeah, yeah. We know. I'll give you some sense. examples in this platform, uh, in this video, on this platform. Right. So they have the Binance Smart Chain. They have uh, yeah, 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 on yeah. Telegram. If you're interested in joining that, we discuss uh, which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones we're joining. And usually oh, this was two years ago. Hold on. This is a different game. This is two years ago. I got Arizona and Toby for participating in Zen. Yo, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Tree Cities West, what's up? Good to, good to see you in the channel. But can you repeat that statement? If you said that statement out loud, no one wouldn't understand what you're saying. I got airdrop some Toby for participating in Zen. <laughs> Hold on, this is two years ago. This is an old, this is an old video. I should have seen that. Uh, three ways to finding crypto sales. Three ways to finding pres hundred. Okay, so this is this guy. Okay, that's a today. Year I'm going to show you guys the top three ways that I use myself to find new presales that are going to perform well in the future. This is a way to filter out scams, filter out a lot of presales that I don't even worth investing in. So here we are, guys, on Coin Sniper, and this is the first way to find valuable presales using Coin listing websites. This is not sponsored by the way. I want to let you guys know that Coin Sniper did not pay a dime for this. And see, for example, this is the promoted spot. Obviously, uh, they pay to be here, and we can see in orange presales here, and you can see when they're going to be launching. In a way, it's like a database of upcoming presales. So this is a really interesting way of finding upcoming presales. Let's now check the second way of finding valuable presales. This is a really cool way for me, and I think it has a lot of advantage. So here we are on Pinksale, guys, and this is the second way for me to find pre-sales. This is a really interesting way of checking ongoing pre-sales. If you want to invest in something that's already live, you don't want to wait a month for the project to come out. This is a really interesting way. So if we click on the first one trending right now, we'll go to the project. You can see they are trying to raise 21,000. Yeah, this is all easy. So, okay. Um, so yeah, you go into these trending ones, fine. I never got an airdrop before, okay. And then um, this one is, wow. Pepe Fair Launch. Pepe Pay Fair Launch. Pepe Pay. Holy crap. What 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 thing is this on? Soul, this is soul. Um here, here's what I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking right now, sorry, I want to be thinking out loud. If I'm if I'm thinking through this, right? I want to be in something that has a lot of hype. And you could in my opinion, you could tell hype by this one is has a thousand soul raised in it and its goal was 50 soul. So it's over and over. Pre-sale ends in one. So maybe if we go into it with some soul, let's just try it. I'm just, I guess I'm just going to try it, right? Why wouldn't I just try it? I'm going to connect my wallet. How do I connect? Dude, just not connecting my wallets. Pay, pay, pay. Okay, here we go. Connect account. There we go. Okay. And maybe I just put in like 0.1 soul. Can I do that? You'll receive... 18,000 per pay pay. Okay, I bought more Brion Armstrong today under a penny. <laughs> Toby about to be the new Pepe. What is Toby? I got Yippy because I got Unicorn Pancake Swap, my three Ada into Pickle Rick. Yo, Mert Spurs, you're wild, dude. <laughs> That's the type of... <laughs> Can I highlight a comment? Yo, go back. If you guys are here, just check out the comment. If you're on off on Twitter, there's there's 30 plus people in here. So thank you guys for coming or or Twitch. Here's what. Hold on, let me. This is freaking. This is a funny. This is the type of stuff that crypto degens, and I know he's messing with me, but you guys need to understand. This is the type of comment, bro. This is the type of comment. This is good enough to highlight. I got Gippy because I unicorn pancake swapped my three Ada into Pickle Rick. <laughs> and then, and then you got people running up to you being like, yo, you got Pickle Ricked? Oh man. The airdrop on that was so good. I got book a meme the other day. Swapped it into Flocky on Phantom with my Phantom wallet. Bounced off of that onto, you know, BSC, you know, by a smart chain. Uh, then bridged over to Arbitrum and got generative AI. That's the... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just... 
<laughs> yeah. And that's the this comment doesn't make sense because unicorn swap and pancake swap are two different swaps on two different chains. I get that. But it honestly, when you're like when you're just outside the crypto space, you're just hearing wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I got I got <laughs> I got the <laughs> I can't even say anything. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh yeah, that is a legendary comment, bro. That's funny, bro. That's so funny. Um, what is Toby, guys? What is what is Toby? Uh, is Toby a th Toby? Toby? Oh, I'm not even there. You go. Well, I don't know what it was Toby. I have no idea what this. You got airdropped. Two people got airdropped on this channel right now. Toby. I don't even know what that is. For the, at the risk of uh at the risk of sounding crazy. Okay, I forgot that exist. <laughs> I'm gonna get that part banned. Maybe I could just clip that out. I don't know. I don't know how they're not banned. It's 16. They airdropped all the early uh, base users. Really? How do I check my wallet? Can I check my wallet? I I use I use it. <laughs> Let me uh I used it. <laughs> how do I check my wallet? I swear, dude, MetaMask sucks. Is there a better way to look at your wallet than MetaMask? It's awful. Uh, I guess I would go to like Uniswap. Uniwasp. Maybe it'll show up in the in the swap. Okay, I'm in bridge. I'm not even sure if this is the right wallet. Okay, here's my Brett. Yo, I got my Brett. You guys got Brett? Yeah, I got Toby. Whoa! Oh no, that's the same. I thought it went up. No, that's just that's just the same. A couple it actually went down a little bit. Dang it. <laughs> Let's see here. But we gotta diamond hand that thing. We gotta diamond hand that thing. Especially on a on a there we go. Look at that run up. That's pretty good. Yeah, so I don't know, guys. I don't know how to pick these pre-sales because this is who we're competing with, right? If we're buying the MF or coin, oh, the, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is all, all to say, all, all to say, is MF or a coin a good buy? Well, at some point, this dude right here is gonna is gonna sell on us. This dude, this is the dude. Oh crap! I just exited out. This is the dude. He's gonna sell on you. I wonder what I wonder what uh, Brett is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is why I like... See, this is why I freaking like whale watching. Because you be... This is investigative journalism right here. So we go... Okay, if you, if you guys don't know what I'm doing... Sorry, I'm going really fast. But okay, I'm on CoinMarketCap. I look at Brett Coin here. Okay. If I want to know who's holding Brett Coin, I'm going to roll down to the contract address somewhere. There it is. And it's... Oh, my face is covering. Right there above me. Okay. I'm going to click on it. It's going to take me to base scan. Boop. Now I'm here. Okay. I can see how many holders are here. 50,000 holders. I can see how many transfers. Half a million transfers. Okay. Um, as I roll down, I look over here. Go to holders. Right there. Boop. Click on that. And these are the percentages. These are the most wallets with the highest percentage obtained. So let's just go to number three. Because I don't know, this is the deployer. I don't know what that means, 10%. I don't know what this wall is doing, but that's 5% of everything. Let's just go to number three. Okay, we're going to take number three. Okay, we're at number three. Oh, thanks, GF. It, you know, old habits die hard. So this is this wallet right here has these transfers on base. Two days ago, they were out of these particular coins and they were into these particular coins. So they're selling, 
apparently. They were selling two days ago. So good timing because they dropped. Everything dropped. So I'm going to go ahead and take the contract address, or I'm sorry, the wallet address. I'm going to go to a an app called Zerion. Uh, Zerion is something I like to use because it tracks these apps. Yep. So all you have to do is go up here into the search function. There we go. And oh, $11 million, dude. This guy's buying Fool. 30% full. And he sold his Brett. Oh, so he's selling his Brett. Good to know. Okay. So this guy owns mostly Brett. And I guess he owns uh, some ETH, some Woonen, some Ringo, some Milady, Ball Dog. Oh, never mind. He doesn't own any of those. He, I guess he sold out of these positions. These are just like dust. I don't know what Woonen is. He owns a lot of Woonen, a million Woonen. And 171 Brett. Okay, so we're going to go in here. We're going to go for the last week. And he's been selling. Oh, dude, he sold at the perfect top. Yo, this guy's a legit dude. This guy sold at the perfect top. He probably caused the downturn, quite honestly. I mean, I'm not sure how big this market. How big is this market? How big is Brett? Uh... What? No, he didn't cause this. This is a half a million dollar, half a, sorry, half a billion dollar thing. He didn't cause this. Maybe I have no idea. Well, where did he go into? Hold up. Hold up. He sold here. What did he sell out of? He sold his Brett. Right here, boop. He sent 100,000 Brett. Sold 100,000 Brett. Sold 4 million Brett. Sold 4 million Brett. He sold 10 Brett. That's weird. What is he doing here? Yo, you guys see this? I think 600 million, I think, uh, in two separate drops. Baseball crypto. Uh, the toad guy. Okay, we'll check that out. I'm just, I'm just trying to get my mind around some of this stuff. Can anyone help me figure this out? Okay. So he received, okay, here's the story. He received 39 million Brett. He received 61 million Brett, 10 million Brett, 90 million Brett at four cents, four cents, four cents, four cents. At four, actually, this is at four point zero four two one nine five zero four two nine five zero four two two zero four. Okay, he bought a lot of Brett. Then, four days after that, he started selling him off. There's two million, there's two million, there's two million, there's three million. He's making a hundred thousand. Holy crap, guys. Jeez Louise. And then he's, I mean, like, he's just holding on to this stuff, but he sold a lot at the top and made some returns right here. Jeez. It's time to sell and go away. Dong, dong, dong. <laughs> You're new. So welcome to the channel, bro. Some of the worst crypto advice uh, known to man. All right. That's enough spying, okay? There's something going on here. I don't know what this means, but we that one guy was uh, looking at, you know, made a video about Brett. It won me over, um, but whatever. Um. Let's take a look at that one toad guy. What's that? Let me, I'm scrolling back up for the, the toad guy. Okay. Is that on CMC? Is that on Dex? What's that on? The toad guy. Uh, Peep the toad? Is that it? No, that can't be it. You guys have like a, where do I find this thing? So hard. It's so hard to find. Did I buy Brett at the height? Oh, I might have brought Brett at the height. <laughs> oh, I think I did. I, I got a little bit down on here, but yeah. Um, the Toad guy. Maybe Toad guy. Maybe Toad guy. Okay, time to go. Let's go DGen. Let's go to X. Let's go to Twitter. We're going full... 
And everyone on Twitter, what's going on? Ooh, Miley Cyrus. Any Miley Cyrus cover is better than the original song. Okay. The Toad Guy. Toad Guy. Where do I find this? Help me. I feel crazy. Help me. Help me. Toad Guy Crypto. Toby Airdrop. Let's do that. Toby Airdrop. Is this it? Got my Toby on airdrop on base. Bless your heart, you wise little toad. <laughs> yeah, this has got to be it. This has got to be it, right? Is this it? Are you guys selling? Instead of shilling your tiny $8 Toby airdrop, you should be buying more. Once airdrops are over, lots of cell pressure is removed and the thing explodes. Choose rich. Study toad lore. That's... <laughs> uh, uh, <clears throat> this is starting to make sense. You start talking like a, um, like a legit trader, you know, like you should be buying more once airdrops have over lots of cell pressures removed and this thing explodes. That's like, that sounds like smart talk. And then you say this, choose rich study toad lore. That's <laughs> uh, okay. What's, what is this toad, toad God X, Y, Z. What am I looking at? Guys, what am I looking at? What are you sending me to? Uh, the frog of base. All toads can be frogs, but all frogs cannot can't be toads. It's a one-way destination. Toads win the war every time, especially a base one. What am I reading, dude? <laughs> you know what? Sounds like a good buy. This is financial advice. You should buy it. Obviously, because of this. <laughs> I don't know anymore, guys. At some point, I'm just like, I don't even know what to think anymore. Here we go. Coin Gecko. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If this thing hits Coinbase, it might it might pop. It's up now. If I would... If, I don't know. If if it was me, I'd sell right now. I'd be selling at these, this spike right here. This seems like a good time to sell. It's going to come down if you really believe in it. Sell or buy again, or just wait till it lists on Coin Market Cap. You know, if it does. What do you guys think? If you guys are, you're holding baseball. Okay, I mean that's fair enough. You know, you still got the coin. You got the CMC. Um, what's that called? The CMC Catalyst. I can't. I can't fault you for that. Would you take profits? Would you take twenty percent off the top here? I mean, you got airdropped here, right? So like 20%, I don't know what that is. What is this, sushi swap? What are you guys doing? I wish I got airdropped. I would do that right now. This this thing's going to drop right here. Look at this. This thing's going to drop harder than uh, third period French. Watch the drop. It's gonna. It's, it's, this is an EDM concert right now. And the Toad guy is, is dancing. And you guys are all at the dance floor. And you don't know the beat's going to drop. Aaron knows. This cowboy knows that beat's gonna drop. Ooh. See that wick getting long, longer? He's. Let's go five minute. Oh, yeah, that beat's gonna drop. That's what I feel. Now, baseball, don't don't get me. Don't, you know, like, don't let me, me being a, being a, yeah, I might sell. 20% in a brew, 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 what is, what is that word? <laughs> oh, brew it, brew it, <laughs> Brion, 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 yo, is that English? Yeah, I'm saying like, you have options, you don't have to sell the whole bag, Tell, sell 10%, take the profit, walk away, you, you got airdrop, like, don't, 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 uh, you can't scoff at that, Brion Armstrong, Okay, this is where it is, right? We're gonna we're gonna make that note mentally. Let's go look at this. We'll come back. Brune Armstrong. Is that on here? Yeah, I guess that's on here. Oh wow. Please let oh please let oh what's his name? Ben? Bitboy? Please let that guy buy this coin. That'd be hilarious. That's him, right? Like this is I obviously this is a, unless there's another Brian Arm. No, wait, that's not Brian Arm. What's his name? Ben. 
Who's Brian Armstrong? Wait a minute. Oh, that's the Coinbase guy. Yo, I'm tripping out, guys. I'm so sorry. That's Coinbase. I'm looking at his bald head. I'm like, yeah, okay. That's Brian. The same last name. And then, like, it's mixed up. I don't know. I'm giving myself excuses. I like how there's a shine on this guy's head. Is the heart... Okay. This is this is crazy. This is some of the fun stuff. Like, when you're doing some degen stuff. Okay, so tell me about your project here and why is it worth um why is your project worth nine million dollars market cap okay nine million dollar market cap tell me a little bit about it. yeah sure brian armstrong is the heartfelt leader of Bayes. his mission his mission is to build back better to unify the divided and to counter with the wild claims we're here to bring together all the base memes and support one another through the highs and lows. Make sure to stand by Brun. Far real change. <laughs> That's so hard. That's so hard, dude. WTF? Uh, Brian, it's gonna be huge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm right and sure. Yeah. This is gonna be. Yo, shill me. Shill me harder. Baseball. You're not doing a good enough job. Shill harder. Uh, that's funny. Oh, there it goes. There's the wick. Look, it just dropped down further. I'm telling you guys, I know it. Maybe it'll pick back up here. Like you see this like little retracement here. Uh, but yeah, this is lightning. This is a classic lightning in the bottle uh, chart right here. Boop. Here's the lightning. Here's the bottle. Okay. It's awful bomb. Lightning went in. Right from the bottom. And sources from the top. And then here's my TH. That's lightning in the bottle. It's This is classic TA, guys. You guys didn't go to school for this? I went to school. You know, like, come on, guys. This is classic. And then I'm going to, I mean, this is, uh, that's the easiest TA. I mean, I'm just, I just read the charts, man. I just read the charts. You guys can buy my um, crypto course, you know, online. Just send me, you know, $1,000 in Tether. And uh, I'll send you my crypto courses. Look at this. This is lightning bottle right here. It's the lightning bottle chart right here. Boom. Right there. If that's not lightning in the bottle, I don't know what it is, bro. Lightning in the bottle? Oh, crap. Where was my... Here's the light. Here's the bottle. Right? Here's lightning psh, coming out. Psh, 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 psh. Here's the lightning coming in. Psh, psh, psh. Just like I called it. Just like I called it. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, it's getting worse. Uh, I told you. I mean, it doesn't take a TA expert to see that. I mean, quite honestly. it Like, like just really, like any massive spike up this on a meme coin is going to come down. Like, that, I'm being real. I'm not even being TA. I'm just being real. Like, people are going to take profit. And on, T, on, on meme coins, it's just a steep drop. Now, this is not even the biggest drop, right? Like, if you're looking at TA... Um, Let's go to one hour. Yeah, so like the it's actually I'm gonna start sound I'm gonna start sounding like I'm trying to pretend like I'm a TA guy, but from what I hear, right? Like you these are crazy wicks. I don't know. I I can't explain those. I don't know what that means, dude. That's crazy. That's just a stronger lightning. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you know, you could do you I could do the whole I could make myself sound like I'm you know, this upward channel, you know, higher highs and lower lows coming in through this channel, this channel, and, you know, we see a golden cross. Oh, oh, golden cross. <laughs> Yo, when I was, when I was first getting into crypto, the, that golden cross line was like the line to get people. Um, like, what was that Asian guy? Ah. Who's that Asian guy? Brian? Bren? I don't know what his name is. John? Jung. Something Jung. Something Jung. Because he was the juggernaut. Anyway, he's a huge. He's one of the biggest channels. He was like, oh, the Golden Cross. I was like, yo, what's the Golden Cross, bro? This is the time to buy, bro. It's gold. It's a cross. That The cross is where the treasure is. You know what I'm saying? My, my savior died on that thing. <laughs> so I'm, and golden Cross, I'm there, baby. <laughs> so Brian Junk okay yeah Brian Junk so like 
And then there was the death cross or something like that. I was like, yo, the death cross. I don't want to be on the death cross. So I have, and then I was just like, I give up, dude. <laughs> none of, none of his freaking stuff means anything to me, you know? So, and I've, I've, I've done this before and I could do it again, but I don't really want to crap on these other YouTubers, but I could go back on these other YouTube channels and try to find whether or not what they said. I mean, you could literally just do it. Like if you took some, just some research, Brian Jung, you go here, we're going to go to Brian Jung. No, who's something who makes like stronger statements? I guess he does. Yeah. Yeah. Cool guy. I'm sure actually fantastic production on the videos. But if we go to something like seven days ago, would he have called this downturn in the market? Probably, if he's if the words was right, like he said. Um, First off, okay, you, you haven't made money with um, AI yet. Okay, don't worry. You're the the biggest, for whatever reason, they're selling courses on how to make money with AI instead of making money with AI. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the classic course. You sell. I'll tell you guys the course route. I sold. I sold marketing courses for, for someone else. I was the marketer and um, they would make a ton of money on a particular, let me just, let me be real with speaking from experience and speaking with authority in this space. I was a marketer for some of the biggest, um, well, I would say the biggest names in uh, real estate. And, um, and I, I sold, I was selling three different types of courses packages. These were packages were $6,000. And what I learned when selling these marketing packages, especially talking to the people who were selling the courses, was that there was a moment in time where they struck it big with their skill. So whether it was flipping real estate or selling marketing courses, in 20, 2006, um, like say marketing, in 2006, Facebook marketing was new. So the first early movers on Facebook marketing like really moved on 2006. Then like they made their wealth they made like a substantial wealth, like maybe let's say a million in revenue over the course of like a year or two. Then they pivot and they sell the courses and then they make 20 million off of selling the courses. Because when you actually tr when you actually do the skill, it's actually a lot lower than, that's less value than teaching the skill. Teaching the skill is always more valuable than actually doing the skill. Um, and that's, that's what I found in online courses. And I've seen that with three different courses personally, firsthand as their marketer. Uh, so if we relate that to TA, in TA, could you make some money? Yeah, you could probably make some money, but the people selling TA probably made a ton of money in the previous bull run. So it was very easy to do it. So they're selling that expertise in a particular time of a lifetime, right? Now it's oversaturated or now people, I don't know, I don't know how that works in TA, but that in real estate, there could be a lot more wholesalers or in uh, marketing, there could be a lot more uh, marketing or whatever. But there's always a time constraint there that people will capitalize on an opportunity then pivot. And the best people pivot. If you look at Alex Hermosi, he did like gym shark, gym launch or something like that. Then he pivoted into, he didn't sell courses, but he's pivoting into different acquisition businesses and stuff like that. So they, they know that a market is only fertile for a, a set a long period of time. Then people who are buying into this try it and they get in. All that to say, I think that TA is the same way. I think that people selling TA things on crypto is crazy. And they were successful based off of principles and a market that was back four years ago and not today. And so I just be careful about that. That's, that's where I'm at. I don't know. I've been kind of ranting. No one's commenting. So that's what I... Thought. Do you guys have any reactions or reflections to that? Am I crazy to think that? Anyway, we could go into Brian Jung's hour-long video and see like where he thinks the market is going to be coming out. Okay, so wait, let's see a Bitcoin. Let's see if he makes any price predictions on Bitcoin. In fact, you should be welcoming it if you want the trend to sustain for longer periods. What would have been worse is if we kept seeing Bitcoin riding up and up and up and we didn't see the pullback that we're getting now. This is because anytime Bitcoin does not have any room to breathe, if there's no pullbacks and people taking profits, then the dump is going to be more extreme. And that could be the catalyst that leads into a crash or even a start to another bear market. With that said, what's most interesting is in my last three videos, I went over a variety of different top signals to be on the lookout for. And it turns out almost every single one of them got hit. For me personally, a top signal is literally... Oh, stop, stop. <laughs> so, yeah. I went over a variety of top signals and every single one of them hit. Like that is a, <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> so he's an oracle, like right? Like the way those words are crafted are, are very particular. I think it, it gets him an out in case he was if he's wrong or right, and it allows them to say, yeah, I, I call it all the time. Not hating on Brian Jung. I mean, I'm a nobody compared to him. I mean, he's got like two million subscribers and seven hundred thousand views or whatever. But that's uh, I don't know. That's just kind of how I see this stuff. So anyway. I think that's enough. I'm not trying to hate on anybody. Let's take a look at um, Toby Toad Toad Goad. Oh, Toad God. Oh, that's what this says. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we're on the hourly. That's not going to be helpful. Five minute. Okay. Yeah. See, it went down. This is a classic uh, lightning, lightning formation, lightning in the bottle move. Classic lightning in the bottle pattern. <laughs> called it. I called it. Like I said, I called it. <laughs> Bitcoin hit 60, 68 again. Okay. TA is TA being created many, many moons ago and being used for centuries. People use courses. People's courses are just through their ways of getting, reading it, uh, right or wrong. Uh, but you're also paying for their bad habits too. That's a good point. They've got, everyone's got some kind of habit, uh, bad or good. Actually, TA, technical analysis, Striga. Um, I think TA was actually invented in Japan with uh, the use of candlesticks, if I believe, if I'm if I'm correct about that. Um, I I actually believe in macro TA. I actually don't mind that. It's like a, like over a long periods of time. I don't believe in. I mean, GF, you're, you're different, right? So let's just let's just as I just, you guys know my stance on this, and it's more. I believe in. I guess it's a scale, right? It's I I have a little more trust in it. If it's on a bigger scale, bigger time frame, like something like the Bitcoin chart and in stocks, in crypto, it's just so volatile. And for us to think that TA, for me, let me just not say for us, for me, TA on a meme coin is crazy talk. That's just crazy to me. So, um, yeah, that's literally crazy to me. TA on Bitcoin, eh, on a wider chart, on a day to day, I, I can't get with that. Um, and TA with stocks. That's that's just how I think about it. Uh, that's how I think of it. We need some good pre-sales like Move and Ping. Those were awesome. Those were. I mean, I made. I made. Oh, it could be five to high five figures with that one with Move and Ping. Called it, dude. Called it. I was a uh, you know, top signals were great. So I called. It. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, I've been on here for an hour now. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. For those of you guys did. Um, Yo, well, I'll be on next. I'll be on tomorrow. We'll be we'll be looking at the charts. I didn't buy anything. Mostly, we we're just kind of talking and chatting here. But I do think that there's more downturn in the market to come. Uh, Bitcoin at 65. Uh, I I'm gonna predict. Let's say in the next. Well, I I'm gonna say that this next day is gonna chop sideways, and then we're gonna see another downturn into uh, probably 63. And if I'm wrong, okay, fine. You know, like, who can call this stuff? <laughs> so, anyway, that's my prediction. Let's see if it's right. If it's not, you guys don't know. This is obviously the best financial advice ever. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'll see you guys in the next stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. I put this stupid... I put the wrong video up. See ya.